Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here. And I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. And please ignore the construction sounds above me because there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. But today we are going to be looking at the controversy that Harrods has found itself in recently within the past few days. They released a handbag from the designer Judith LeBaire on their website and it was a massive storm to say the least what what's going on y'all are going to jail period but before we get into the entire story if you guys love fashion and handbags please hit the subscribe button if you are new and if you guys enjoyed today's content please like the video as it helps me know that you guys enjoyed it and it helps the algorithm but with all of that being said let us look into today's story so last week harrods had put up a handbag made by the designer judith LeBaire, and this handbag depicted the hindu god ganesha and the hindu community was quite upset but not only did they have this handbag released on their website but this handbag was multiple thousands of dollars euros pounds whatever and it was also made with a leather trim which if you do not know the hindu religion is totally against any type of animal abuse so this was just a complete spit in the face to the hindu community dragger now after all of this happened the judith labert designer actually issued well the president of the brand issued a statement to the economic times which the economic times sweetie no uh in the day of social media no one's looking to a magazine for your statement that is shady that is why you're shady am i shady you are shady. because i feel you should have went onto your social media and you should have issued a, an, a statement. But anyways, this is Judith LeBaire's president's statement on the whole matter. We are deeply sorry to hear that our Ganesha bag has caused offense to the Hindu community. Layla Katsun, president of Judith LeBaire Couture, said in a statement quoted by the Economic Times. Now that we are aware of the leather lining in the Ganesha bag contradicts the Hindu belief system, effective immediately, we will be ceasing production on this style with leather lining. Going forward, this style will be produced with a synthetic lining, she added. So instead of Judith LeBaire actually just ceasing production of the Ganesha handbag. They are actually just pulling the ones that are made with leather and they are going to create new ones. That's not what they, that's not what the backlash was fully about. The, if you guys even looked at one tweet about the whole matter, you would have instantly understood that just physically depicting them at, just taking the Ganesha Hindu god and making it a fashion statement itself is a straight up disrespectful act against the Hindu community. And if you guys can't even understand that, y'all need to just not create handbags ever again because like it took you, it took me less than 30 seconds to even understand why they were upset. It took me, a person who does not create handbags or anything like that, to understand why a certain community was upset about something. What's so hard? What is so hard to just cease production of this? Because it's not just the fact that the, the handbag was created with leather. That's not the issue. Well, that is an issue, but this handbag should never have been in production to begin with. You are absolutely right. And for there to be no actual statement from Herod's or Judith LeBear, that's frustrating. I, I'm not even a part of that community and I am frustrated because it's like, really? Really? I mean, if y'all really want to go down that route and really mess up your customer service and how you're handling your PR, like girl, you are going down a very dangerous road. If a large enough amount of people get wind, as this person stated on Twitter, I read this person's tweet and I was like, yeah, 
Like, it, if they got wind, they you all y'all would be canceled. So that is the exact reason why no one's saying anything about it other than random publications because they don't want to get canceled. They don't want to lose those huge spenders over in those areas. They don't want to lose that money. So they're not going to say anything. <sighs> I'm really sick of brands doing this because it, it takes little to no effort to do research. It takes no effort to just understand. It takes no effort. And for them to be doing this much to avoid any type of like widespread word about this is just, it's frustrating to see because you damn well know, we all know, we know, we know. Now I'm going to say this quickly because while I was researching this topic, Twitter completely was, I couldn't find anything to do with this on Twitter. I couldn't find anything on Twitter. I had to dig for an hour to find this one tweet about the whole thing because Twitter itself, Twitter itself was hiding the backlash. Does that seem off to you? Because it seemed off to me. They were not showing anybody. They weren't showing anybody talk about it besides publications. So like The Guardian or CNN, or, they weren't showing any outcry from the Hindu, the Hindu community, nothing. There was nothing. Does that not seem strange to you? And the fact that they're avoiding making any type of public statement that people are actually going to see and notice, uh, none of this makes sense. It is very fishy. I think Twitter is hiding the backlash from the Hindu community just because I couldn't find anything. Twitter was saying there was nothing on it. That itself is sketchy. We do know that Twitter is a... Twitter has a very racist algorithm. We know that for a fact. That has been proven multiple times before. So for them to be hiding the backlash from the Hindu community is absolutely, I, I'll just say it's disgusting. I, I was very annoyed that I could not find anything because if there was massive backlash, I should have been able to just quick latest tweets and seen the onslaught of tweets from the Hindu community. But a lot of them were hidden. I couldn't find almost anything. Even the tweet that I showed you, it wasn't popping up anywhere. I had to dig through Twitter accounts to actually find these tweets. What are y'all hiding? What it, Twitter change your algorithm and Herod's, okay, I won't straight up blame Herod's, but Herod's should have made a public statement and so should have Judith. Anyways, with all that being said, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments section below because this can be a very topic, a very touchy subject for some and I completely understand why. Know that I'm receptive. I'm listening to your outcry. I'm, as, as a person that loves fashion, loves the whole thing, I, I'm listening. I understand your outcry and I understand the frustration. So if you're one of those people that are frustrated, who knows, maybe there was nobody frustrated at this, but... I genuinely feel like Twitter was censoring a lot of tweets. So let me know if there was any backlash that you showed online. And with all of that being said, I'm gonna show you guys a very sickening outfit of the day. To believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 hundred. 9,000 or 999. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and 99. Brand new guys, I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's outfit of the day. I feel sickening, of course. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. As always, I love you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Like this video. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have. Share with your friends and family. And check out my Instagram link in the description box as well. Check out the Discord link also in the description box if you want some instant notifications for when I upload every time. 
She knows all about David's set. I love you guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. I think it was good. I, I, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over.